Step into the Brentwood flea market and you'll find everything from old DVDs to old socks and the shoes to slip them into. Y'all need boxes? Crazy deals are happening here, but nothing quite as crazy as Deborah Royster's story. These boxes are on sale for a dollar each. I am known as the box lady. I want you to be happy and get whatever you need. It wasn't always this way. I was the regional director for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the wardrobe boxes. That was a long time ago. Now, I always give a deal. How many did you get? Always give a deal. She feels so boxed in. Have a couple of bigger boxes in the back. The little white boxes are a dollar each. They're on sale. They aren't really selling. They've been here for a long time. As far as price, I don't have any competition. <laughs> Her life changed about eight years ago. In 2013, I was working on my, my master's degree and I got really sick. Just put it behind the... She'd lost her right kidney when she was 25. Now, her left one is failing. Her husband, James, helps her do dialysis in their home each evening. But what she really needs is a new kidney. I'm not on the list because I have to raise that money first. She needs $7,000 to cover her post-transplant meds before she can get on the list. We've raised about 20, about 2,300. In a GoFundMe account. I'm not close. <laughs> Which gave her the idea to, instead of just throwing away those high-end boxes her dialysis gear comes in, why not sell them at the flea market? People that um, have Amazon businesses, they buy in bulk, um, one or 200 at a time on top. A long way yeah. from her days as an executive. Yeah, wouldn't have guessed it. Which is why you might be surprised when you ask her how she feels about all of it. But I'm thankful. I'm very, very thankful because things could have been worse. Truth is, they have been. Ugh. Yes. Yep. It was hard when she told me. Um, Her daughter, Diane, in the center of this picture, died of cancer just a couple of years ago. My daughter was my pride and joy. And Deborah was much closer to having the $7,000 she needs until she ended up here in March needing open heart surgery. And I was in there for 23 days. After a stroke. Yeah. As her window appears to be waning. Um, when I first started this, I, there were 17 people that emailed me and said, we're, we're going to give you a kidney. Well, that has dwindled to nothing now. Deborah Royster remains a woman of faith. I believe that a kidney will be provided. Bob Buckley. Um, and if it doesn't, eventually I just go on home. Fox 8 News.